Hi, I'm Wayne from TC Electronics and Marine, and what we're planning on doing is to show people how to change the bellows and shift cable on your outdrive. Put the shifter into forward gear all the way. The shift cable needs to be taken off the engine and disconnected. This is done by uh, undoing the two pins on each side. One on here, one on there. should pull through like so. Okay, you just undo the bolt here, the nut. And this should unthread and it simply pulls out so that later we can pull the shift cable through. Okay, next we need to pull the hinge pin and in order to do that we have to Take this um, electrical switch off here, which the switch is normally used to uh, stop the drive from going up too far in gear when you're driving. So this, these two screws come out. The switch should pull forward without too much trouble. Locate the switch up over to the side or tape it off, however it will stay. And the hinge pin will slide into this area here. The, um, to get at the hinge pin, you have to you'll have to turn the outdrive so you have access to it. And then this is a hinge pin tool which can be purchased from any dealer. Um, this is the hinge pin in here, and you'll need a wrench. Sometimes you need an extension, or sometimes this is on here very very hard to pull off periodically. Some come easy, based on whether they've been greased and how much calcium is in it. This one's coming off relatively easy. And you would do the same for the other side. We need to remove the prop when working on the outdrives. Um, we are going to be taking the outdrives off in order to change the bellows. So the first thing to do is turn back the tab and take off the uh, prop. And then after the prop comes off, we are going to uh, remove the trim cylinders. And you're going to need something to support the uh, the drive because it's going to slide down when it, once you remove the trim cylinders. Remove the six bolts here and washers on the outdrive. After you have the trim cylinders disconnected and remembering of course to make sure that you place the um, gear shifter in the forward gear position before taking the outdrive off. 
So at this point, we're just simply going to pull back on the outdrive and pull the outdrive back slowly. And we're going to rest it temporarily down here. And then we're going to put drop the trim put the trim cylinder straight down on both sides. We need to take out the grounding screw. That would be this screw here so that we can easily remove the um, this unit here which we will need off the boat um, in order to place the U-joint um, and the exhaust bellows. We're going to put that on this piece here first when we reassemble it so this needs to come off. And the shift cable will, will pull through. And we're turning it so that we can uh, get access to the switch on the other side we need to rotate it from the starboard to the port side. In order to take these screws out your best bet is to put a Phillips screwdriver in, tap it down slightly, then twist it both screws will uh, come loose. Again this is a limiting switch which stops the drive from going too far up and it covers the um, the hinge pin. This is what the hinge pin tool looks like you have as much area as possible of the hinge pin the whole the entire spline in the unit in the hinge pin itself and you simply put a wrench on it and take the hinge pin out similar to the other side this is a flexible snap-on quarter-inch drive unit um, the number on the snap-on tool is 7M6A and um, the size of the socket uh, that I'm using to is 8 millimeters to um, undo the um, water pump clamp here. Simply put the water pump clamp in there, hook it on and it makes taking this water pump uh, clamp off it's actually the shift bellows that um, that we're undoing the shift bellows clamp so that we can pull the, the shift bellows forward which in turn will allow us to pull the shift cable out without damaging This is the um, shift cable I'm taking off, or the U-joint uh, clamp with the same um, tool, snap-on tool, and doing this uh, without this particular tool would almost be impossible. And that's um, that's that one loosened off as well.